Ah, I love the smell of WD-40 in the morning, noon and night. Sometimes I spray a little on myself, kind of like cologne. Drives the ladies crazy. All right, today we're going to link up with a couple of warriors trying to blast their way through the front lines. When all was lost and they started acting like a couple of surrender monkeys, guess what secret weapon saved the day? Now, blow a kiss to mommy because we're going in. Location, a supply depot buried deep in the soft, pillowy cellulite of suburbia. Call signs Echo and Charlie attempt to infiltrate and extract much needed R&R equipment. Notice Echo's ferocious war paint. You got the keys? Yeah. You try turning it? Try turning the key. But the lock was stuck tighter than a tick on a hound dog's back completely impenetrable to their sissy fit attacks. Yeah, 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 good idea. Three, one, two, three. Echo was full of fight. But this was not a man operating with a full platoon, if you get my drift. And Charlie, well, look at him. A grown man disgracing the very grass beneath his knees. But the winds of war and lubricant are fickle and a secret weapon was revealed. After a blast of sweet nectar from the WD-40 gods, yeah. our boys blew yeah. the door open with no problem. Yeah. The spoils of war belong to the conquering heroes. Those boys weren't really my cup of joe. Not at first, anyway. But everybody deserves to cool down after they heat a bath. That was amazing. Fire in the hole. Anyone with a can of WD-40 can become a lean, mean, lubricating machine. Even a pair of yahoos like Echo and Charlie. For more tales of everyday battles with WD-40, you know the drill. Support our troops by buying another can from the WD-40 Military Collectible Series. It's simple. This is going to restart an early army. Drop and give me 40. <laughs>